Welcome to the video on second order reactions. Hopefully you've already watched the video on first order reactions and understand that well. A lot of what I'm going to say about second order reactions is similar to what we said about first order reactions. So in a second order reaction, we either have one reactant turning into products with a rate law of that reactant squared, or we have two reactants turning into products with a rate law of each of those to the first power. Again, it's only about the overall reaction order, so that means that it could be a 1 to the 2 or 2 to the 1. Either way, you have an overall reaction number 2. Again, as if we plot time versus the concentration of our reactant, it will get a curve. We'll have a rate that's decreasing over time. We talked about in the first order reaction video that if it was a first order reaction, you could plot the natural log of the concentration of the uh, reactant and get a straight line. If you did that with a second order reaction, you would still get a curve. So that's how you can tell the difference between a first order reaction and a second order reaction. If you try to plot the natural log of the concentration and it turns out to be a curve, it's not first order, it's second order. So how do we get a straight line for second order? You have to plot time versus the inverse of the concentration of the reactant. And that will give you a straight line. Again, don't ask me why, match post Crocker, it's all what happens. So we need our, an equation for this one. So this one, the equation is all about natural log. This one, the equation is going to be about inverse, but they're going to look very similar. The equation is 1 over the concentration of A at time t minus 1 over the concentration of A at time 0 equals kt. Two main things to note. One, again, it's inverse instead of natural log. Two, slope is positive. This line will have an upward it'll be an upward line, it'll have a positive slope. For the first order reaction, it was a negative slope, so be careful about that. The little, the little negative sign changes everything. We use this equation the same way we use the natural log equation for the first order. We can use it to find the concentration of the reactant at some time, so if we know what t is, then we can go and find out what a sub t would be. We can use it to figure out how long it will take for half of this reaction to uh, proceed. And we can use it to figure out how much time, again t, will it take for this to be a certain amount. How many mol uh, molarity we want for that. So, uh, so just to recap, how you can tell the difference between first order and second order. First order, the natural log graph will be a straight line. Second order, the inverse graph will be a straight line. And so you can make graphs of them and figure out whether it's first order or second order. On the AP test, they'll give you the graph. Again, they won't make you the graph. Uh, and you won't have to have a graphing calculator, but we'll give you the graphing and you'll just pick out, okay, well, this graph is uh, inverse, so therefore this reaction is second order. Thank you.